Leah rocks, but we knew she did, so it's okay. <laughs> Good job on the on the reflector. Left me hanging today, but it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the winner is actually Alex. Alex is the winner. Now it's time for a breakdown. All right, guys. So that was pretty fun, I think. Yes. Except for stealing each other's outfits, which we'll get to. <laughs> oh yeah, that was that was definitely a challenge. That was a challenge of itself. Yeah, and I've never done anything like that myself. But obviously, it's kind of trendy right now. The what, whole three photographers, one model thing. Stealing the outfit, or <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of a snowball effect. Yeah, yeah, actually, because you stole Debs and Debs stole mine, I stole his, and, and, and you stole no ones. And yeah, yeah. I stole no ones because I was the last one. Yeah. But it added an extra, extra level of like improvisation, I think. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, it, it adds to the challenge of, because that was what we were doing. We didn't have a clue of what we were supposed to be doing and whose lighting was, was and I don't know, it was just super fun. Did you guys strictly go for headshots then? Because we've been looking a little bit here and I see both of you guys make, mostly did headshots. I did, yeah. I just went straight with headshots, so uh, since you stole my outfit. So anybody who didn't catch on, if someone used an outfit, we could not could use not it. Use so. Right. He had an outfit which I had also picked, so then I couldn't use it, and then I decided to pick an outfit which then he was gonna pick, and then it kind of went from there. But yeah, the fist fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think with I had an idea, and then I kind of with the change of outfit, I went in a little bit of a different direction. But I kind I did go headshot, um, and I used a uh, there was a crate in over there. No, you want to hand that to me? An apple crate or something? <laughs> yeah, it's sure. like a, it had water in it. This was our water crate. So I used this as a gobo. And since it's kind of small, it was a little bit, uh, it was a little bit of a challenge getting it to fill the frame and not have a bunch of white space. So I kind of did it vertically and Alex held it. And uh, it kind of almost looked like a it, like it looked a, like camera blur. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. yeah so, I, when I saw this F8, I was like, where are you getting all that camera blur? No, yeah, just, so the blur shadow, shadow kind of made it look yeah. like a blur, and it also inadvertently kind of looked like a roll of film. That, yeah, which, that looked super awesome. Yeah. You know, it, was it wasn't what I was going for, but it worked. <laughs> so, and my son, I just did a beauty dish with a grid and a sock, I think. And then, I was about to say it looked like a sock. Yeah, there's a sock and beauty dish. The one thing I am noticing I don't love about this is the, like, I didn't have the modeling lamps on at a high enough power, so I'm like, her pupils are uh, oh. huge. Uh, but after a while, I turned them on, so I think there's some. And then I eventually kind of went blue. But well, I actually uh, decided to go as well out of my comfort zone because I normally work with one light. Yeah. And, you know, I, I try to get like a little bit edgier and yeah. contrasty and stuff. So I used uh, the huge Octobox we got in the studio and the beauty dish as well with the honeycomb. It was a 30 degree. 30 degree, yeah. yeah. So uh, I placed the Octobox like on top of her head to work with the edge, a little bit tilted so it covered the shadows. And the beauty dish on the side, that was high power because I wanted to get that contrast look from that light. Were you lighting the background there or just let the fall off? No, actually with this one was the fall off from the octave. Just making it darker. Yeah. yeah, and obviously I changed aperture because I was working at F9 with this, yeah. uh, I think it was F9. Where, uh, where was yeah, she in relation to the background? Oh, F9? She was, oh, she was almost at the edge of the backdrop. Like this edge? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She was actually far away. So when I switched to the Octobox, I had to crank the light. I could open it like two stops almost. Yeah. Of light, so that fell on the background. It gave me a different look. Yeah. So that was a that was a, the actual challenge, and yeah, it actually came out pretty good. I like. I was it. scared. Yeah. And the funny thing was because my wife decided we have to do this weird makeup, and I'm like, okay, I've got 20 minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, your makeup, look, your makeup looks your makeup looks different than mine. We finished everything. What well, was it? Five minutes before time, and I was done in two. So it was like we should do it. This is a challenge. He's like, breaking. Are you able? Are you able to do this in forty-five seconds? Yes, <laughs> yeah, I am Let's able to. <laughs> so, so yeah, that was that was the fun part. All right, right. What do you so get? What I did? Well, I did one completely different. Um, I've done this lighting before, but it's not my 
go-to style or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's just, it's hard light, which I know scares people sometimes, but I just pawned a, um, took a seven inch reflector, but I put the, the barn doors on it yeah. with the top two flat and then the, the side one real narrow, oh. maybe an inch. Yeah, and then on top of that, if you look at the shots, you'll see that she took the camera right to her left, there's a white wall, 90 degree corner. So eventually it's getting a little bit better in terms of reflection, but um, she discovered on her own too that she liked the jacket better, but you can see the reflection on her arm from that yeah, white wall. Right. So yeah. I was like, let's see, let's see if it happens. And then I just told her repeatedly, move quick, move quick. Got Alex with the fan on her, she was throwing her jacket around. I wanted the kind of energy. Yeah. And what's interesting is that, that second and a half cycle time was slowing us down yeah. because I had a full power ISO 100. So I went ISO 400 and took the cycle time down to a quarter of a second. Yeah. And then we kept the energy going. Yeah. So that, that helped her a whole, whole lot because one second is fast, except yeah. when I wanted her to move that fast. Right. But what, what equipment were you using? Right, uh, yeah, just a seven inch reflector with the Einstein. Yeah, but uh, what Einstein. was the stroll? Yeah, yeah, Einstein, Einstein, right? Did you use the Einstein as well? I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah I went with the yeah, no, uh, what I do is when I do this look, I just go, well, not with my Einstein, but I usually just go full power on the stroke, knowing I'll get F11, F13, whatever yeah. I need. But with the Einstein 640 at eight feet away, I was like, let's just put that at a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> I got oh, I got yeah. a 10 out of it anyway, so. Oh, and by the way, Alex was our testing model. So Alex he was the sure only right. one who knew what right. each of us yeah. were doing. What's weird is that when he tried that corset on, he looked spot on. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a picture of Alex in a corset. It's a body suit. Body suit. That's right. Body it's, suit. It's, it's, body it's, suit. it's Italian. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I went with this hard light. Is it a corset <laughs> like a French word? Is it? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oui. Mm -hmm. oui, oui, oui. Anyway, so I didn't go for headshots, obviously, but that I went for my standard classic three quarter. Yeah. So actually, I think that was it. That was our challenge. Uh, actually, I came with the idea when, while we were in Imaging USA. Uh, we were going to be here, so I decided well, some to... some of us were going to be here. Yeah, well, we, we made, we made it supposed snow, to be here, but so we, we made Nino no stay. <laughs> we made Nino stay. So I thought it was it would be a nice opportunity to share with these two fine gentlemen uh, our knowledge and have like a little, actually Kimberly made it a challenge. You were just right? going to shoot yeah, for the heck of it, but Kimberly shoot. put us in a spot. Making a shoot blindfolded was the worst part. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are we done? Are we done? Yeah, we're Can done. we be? Can we be done? Can we be done? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. You know what, just get this one. <laughs>